Everything in this world, sooner or later, comes to an end. The planet we live on is no exception. At a certain point, all its natural resources are going to be depleted. The only issue that the humanity will be concerned with will be the search for potentially habitable planets elsewhere in space. And even today we have a short list of suitable candidates. As a rule, objects within the habitable zone are located tens or hundreds of light years away from us. But quite recently, scientists have come across one more exoplanet which is unprecedentedly close. 4.22 light years away. The object is near the closest star to our solar system and its name is Proxima Centauri b. The location of this exoplanet would be known to many or at this point in the video would be guessed by many. It is the triple stellar system Alpha Centauri. The system is made up of three components. Interestingly, two of them are seen as a single object, which is also one of the brightest dots in our sky. These two are Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. As for the third component, Alpha Centauri C, it is a very dim red dwarf and it was this third humble one that caught astronomers eye. The first two components are located quite close together while the third one is barely visible. That is the reason why the system is often referred to as a single star. Alpha Centauri never quite leaves the horizon and can be easily seen with the naked eye in such places around the world as Buenos Aires in Argentina or Sydney and Melbourne in Australia. The first two components of the system are very similar to our Sun in their properties. Alpha Centauri A, for example, was the first star whose atmosphere was directly observed. As a result, a thin cold layer was discovered and this is one of the similarities with the host star of our Earth. The age of the Alpha Centauri system is estimated at 6 billion years, which is essentially 1.5 billion years more than the age of our Sun. The A and B components follow an elliptical orbit around the common mass center and their orbital period is 79.91 years. As for the third component of the system, generally referred to as Proxima Centauri, it is located about 0.21 light years away from either of the two stars and it takes it about half a million years to complete a full orbit around them. Proxima Centauri is 4.24 light years away from the Earth or 270,000 times further from us than the Sun is. Following some calculations, it was concluded that its actual diameter is about seven times smaller than that of our Sun and is just one and a half times bigger than that of Jupiter. Like many other red dwarves, this is a flare star and its luminosity dramatically increases several times in the course of its flaring up. This may well be indicative of the object's impressive age. Proxima Centauri was spotted back in 1915 by the astronomer Robert Inns, who noticed a star moving in a way similar to the other two objects in the system. That is how he came up with the suggestion of its name, Proxima Centauri, which literally translates as the closest. In 1998, the spectrometer on the Hubble Space Telescope registered a planet half an astronomical unit away from Proxima Centauri, but investigations that followed failed to confirm the discovery. Only on the 24th of August 2016 was the European Southern Observatory able to confirm that there was an Earth-like planet in the habitable zone of the star. It was then given the name Proxima Centauri b. First real evidence of this planet's existence was provided by a group of scientists headed by Miku Tuomi, an astronomer from Finland, in 2013 when they were going through archive data from two spectrometers, namely HARPS and the ultraviolet and visual echelle spectrograph mounted on the VLT, the Very Large Telescope. In order to confirm the possibility of discovering the exoplanet, in January 2016 a campaign was launched by the European Southern Observatory and was given the name the Pale Red Dot. Several months later, on the 24th of August 2016, the existence of Proxima Centauri b was officially confirmed by a team of scientists headed by the Spanish astronomer Guillaume Anglade Scude and announced by the European Southern Observatory. The planet was detected by the radial velocity method, also known as Doppler spectroscopy. 
It is an indirect method of planet detection where periodic Doppler shifts in the spectral lines allow one to say whether there is a planet orbiting a star or not. Proxima Centauri b proved to be the closest exoplanet nearest to us. It is located 7.3 million kilometers away from Proxima Centauri and its orbital period around its host star is completed within 11.2 Earth days. But even though it is comparatively close to its star, the latter is quite dim and the planet receives just enough heat for the water on its surface to remain in the liquid state rather than turn into perennial ice. The minimal mass of Proxima b is 1.27 that of our Earth. Following the assumption that the planet's rock composition and density are identical to those of the Earth, its radius must measure 1.1 that of our planet. The light received by Proxima b from its parent star is 65% of that received by our Earth from the Sun. The steady state surface temperature is 234 degrees Kelvin or 39 degrees Celsius below zero. A couple of years ago, this twin of our Earth's would make for a sensational scientific discovery and would be assumed to almost certainly be populated by living organisms. But had it been the case and had life forms been discovered on that planet, the video on our channel would definitely bear a different title. As it is, at this point scientists cannot say for sure whether the planet is actually habitable. According to today's estimates, since Proxima Centauri b has supposedly no magnetic field, it receives 60 times more high-energy radiation and 400 times more X-ray radiation than our Earth. In theory, these figures admit of a biosphere where biological fluorescence is a protection mechanism used to shield against ultraviolet radiation flares. This phenomenon is known to be widespread among some species of coral polyps, Oranthozoa, and is also to be observed on exoplanets, orbiting active stars. However, just a year after the planet's discovery, a disconcerting event in the history of the planet destroyed all hopes so cherished by scientists. In March 2017, a powerful flare on Proxima Centauri was registered by astronomers using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array Radio Telescope. The host star's brightness intensified a thousand times and stayed that way for 10 seconds. Proxima Centauri b would have experienced an overwhelming amount of radiation from this flare, and if there had been any biosphere on that planet, this event would have wiped it out completely. Scientists believe that if flares like that occur regularly, they would have completely stripped the exoplanet of its atmosphere, thus rendering the surface absolutely uninhabitable. It's worth mentioning here that radiation endurance of microorganisms like Deinococcus radiodurans allows us to foster hopes that hypothetically life may yet develop on that planet following a course of evolution of its own. This isn't the end of the Proxima Centauri system's story yet. In 2019, astronomers from the observatory of Turin announced the discovery of another exoplanet candidate in the star's vicinity. The object was dubbed Proxima Centauri c and may hypothetically boast a mass at least six times that of our Earth. Alpha Centauri is currently seen as one of the first destinations for interstellar flights in the future. Even in 2016, preparations for the flight of a nanosatellite driven by laser sails to Alpha Centauri were announced to be in progress. The flight time to the closest star was estimated at 15 years. The name of the project is Breakthrough Starshot, and apart from reaching its planned destination, it has one more mission. Scientists plan first and foremost to prove the feasibility of the concept flights like that are based on. Of course, now it is too early to say anything. Many would argue that there cannot be life on other planets, as too many space factors need to neatly combine to provide favorable conditions. Most scientists, on the other hand, refuse to passively resign to this, and so the search for exoplanets doesn't cease. Sooner or later, telescopes will get advanced to such a point that it will take us just a casual peek through one to be able to tell if there are any developing life forms on a given planet. And all mysteries of exoplanets will be effectively dispersed. And if we really discover nothing with these extra-powerful telescopes, the only thing for us to say with any certainty will be how lucky we are to be inhabitants of our Earth.